Yo guys, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So in today's video, I want to take you guys through how to make a kind of hard beat with a Middle Eastern sample because I just found this fire Middle Eastern sample. I need breaking down my process in terms of how I kind of find parts of a sample and stitch them together and then go about chopping it and taking it from there. So that's what we're getting into in today's video. Obviously, if any of you guys are new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you stay up to date with the weekly produced content over here. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, let's jump into this one. All right, guys, so the first thing I did was basically I took the sample YouTube to MP3 it and I basically started taking parts that I liked. So this sample on the whole had a lot of drums in it. What I ended up doing was just condensing it down, finding parts that looped well, either in Edison or just in the grid. And I ended up sort of forging it into this here. So you can see it's all cut up in different size parts. I've got on generic bleeding so it doesn't clash with each other. Then I just export that as one here. So this is kind of like what I sort of came up with from the sample. Now my plan is basically to take that sample and what I've done is basically I've muted all of these and I've dragged and dropped this into FL Slicer here. So in pattern two, I'm gonna start kind of chopping up some stuff and sort of making that sample, even though I've already chopped it once, kind of make it really sort of different, stand out. So first thing I'm gonna do is just go into FL Slicer here and start picking out some beats. start with this basic pattern here and then start switching some stuff up here so I'm just starting to add a little bit more variation just to kind of make the chop seem a little bit less boring and I like changing these two these two here kind of just sound really nice I'm not going to really switch those up too tough kind of loop there so I'm thinking now as well we could maybe add like a bass guitar in so I've got a bass guitar in mind here so I'm gonna go in and show it you it's actually pretty decent I've just bought this plugin I'd say it's pretty good like for considering I haven't used it too much I got Romana 2 here and this is like the bass guitar. So I've got both, I've got the bundle. This one sounds pretty good for basses because I'm always struggling to find like realistic sounding basses that aren't 808s or synth basses. So I'm thinking of just using this maybe for like an intro or something. simple and would be good to kind of like build up the mood a little bit um, I'm thinking of taking it down to C sharp minor so that's going to go down 100 cents in the FL slicer too so I'm just going to do that here that's hard turn up the attack a little bit I hear a bit of clashing going on between the bass there so I'm just going to clear that up now um, on the sample. So I think that's perfect just to set the atmosphere, set the tone, say before some drums were coming on this. I think now we can kind of go ahead and we're gonna get in my Stanny hi-hat here. Um, it's just from the Phantom Drum Kit. Go in here and get a two-step and then kind of create some bounce. Um, 
before I do that, I'm just going to quickly as well go ahead and put a clap in. So I got a good clap here it's from probably Jack's kit, the drum collection, and I'm just going to get in this simple clap pattern. So I'm just going to randomize these velocities here, Alt R for that. So I'm thinking as the clap hits, we'll do a nice little roll there. And then this time, I think I'm going to use that same roll and just move that across a little bit. Add a slide there. So I kind of like how that bounce is started off. So now I'm going to add more variation in each kind of two bar section. So that's something like that I think we'll do there and then as we start to get here i want to start really ramping up a few more rolls i'm going to third step here The bounce hub. Oh, I want to have one of these here as well and go up an octave. So I got this filtered kind of hat. I'm going to just kind of place it in here and there. And I also want to put some delay on that. All right, so really quickly get in a simple 808 pattern. Here, I've got a couple 808 select for Demon 808 or the Riding 808, both from the Phantom Drum Kit. So I'm going to kind of get like a hard hitting short 808, a little bit like a Jug or a Zay, and then figure out what I want to do with this. So. One size control Q. And I want to do like a little scale up here like this. Same here, scale down. So I'm just going to also get in a kick pattern here. Both the 808 and the kick, I just want to make sure there's a soft clipper on there. And you can kind of push it a little bit more, get the threshold lower. Same with this 808. This 808 hits pretty hard anyway. So 
now that's done, I also want to kind of like show you some extra ways you can get some more bounce with this. Also, you can kind of add these little bits and bobs that are going to just add a little bit more uniqueness to your beat. So. going to move these across so now you can just add like a, a riser just before it kind of comes in Bit more reverb on that just so it doesn't come in so harsh. See this part here, I'm just going to take the hi hats out to make more room for the 808 here. Yo, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please go ahead, like, comment, share this with anyone that loves making music. Comment below and let me know what you thought of the video. And also like it if you liked the content here. But that is pretty much it from me today. Don't forget, I got some free resources in the description for all my producers out there. And uh, my premium sounds are also linked in the description if you want to go and check those and level up your sounds. But that is pretty much it from me. I will play you guys a preview of the beat and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yo, J. Lib sent it pack.